some good advice for potential wine investors. Uh, my, my advice would be to always go in and select brand names of wines that have been performing uh, well with a very good track record and have been doing well in price appreciation uh, over the past many years. So always go for the best wine of the best vintages. Uh, typically, if you look at the first growths from Bordeaux, which is Chateau Lafitte, Chateau Latour, Aubryon, Margot, Moutot, Rothschild, and classic vintages that have been declared outstanding uh, by critics such as 2009, 2010, uh, 2005, uh, 2003, and 2000. Uh, these are some of the more recent vintages that have, that have been of outstanding quality. Uh, so having said that, uh, if you go for the best wines of some of the best vintages that I just mentioned, uh, it is very unlikely that you, you will lose money uh, with your wines. And the wines from these, uh, of, the, of you know, classic brands of classic vintages are only ever known to go up in price. It is also advisable to uh, buy in cases uh, as against just plain bottles because, uh, uh, again, uh, the value of a 12-bottle case always rises far better uh, and does well over a long-term investment than, than singular bottles. I would strongly advise investors to also keep all their wine collections uh, stored overseas and not to ship them into India because there could be some risk from logistic related damage. So uh, popular places to store these wines could be London uh, or even Hong Kong depending on uh, you know where your merchant uh, can organize some warehousing storage uh, facilities. Um, always keep uh, full records of all your wine collections. Uh, demand certificates from your mer merchants of what you have purchased because over long periods of time such records can be of immense importance and records of all, all provenance uh, as well in case of any previous ownerships uh, can, can be very very important to keep. Uh, also always have your stock fully insured. Now these are all administrative issues. Uh, any reputable merchant uh, will take care of all of these for you and therefore it's even more important to deal with merchants who have been in this uh, in the business of wine, you know, fine wines uh, and only ever deal with merchants like that. Uh, uh, having said that, in terms of stock tips, uh, there, are some, there are some wine brands that have been doing really well. Other than the Bordeaux First Growths, my particular f favorites have been uh, Chateau Pavi uh, and also Chateau Ponte Cane. Uh, that has been doing really well going up in value. The 09 went up almost 20% over the last six months. Uh, of Ponte Cane and so uh, you know these are some of my hot tips other than the first growths that I would also go for them. It's also not a bad idea to start looking at some of Burgundy because uh, you know Bordeaux has been largely popular across Asia but some of the some of the uh, uh, very very exclusive uh, domains of Burgundy such as Romani Conti, Latash and uh, Rishbo uh, have been doing really so well in, in value and prices they're starting to get very popular and it may not be such a bad idea to start looking at investing in some top-notch burgundy as well. Thank you.